Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide mixed numbers by fractions. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one here where we have five and a half divided by five sixths. Now the steps that we're going to take to solve these are at the top of the screen. So the first thing we wanna do is change any mixed numbers to improper fractions. That way we just have a numerator, a top number, and a denominator, a bottom number. So we'll start with five and a half here, changing it to an improper fraction. And we'll start at the bottom and work our way to the top. We need to multiply and then add. So two times five is 10 plus one, 11. Keep our denominator of two right here the same. So 11 over two is five and a half as an improper fraction. Then we'll bring down the rest of the problem. So divided by and then our fraction. On to the next step, which KSF, that stands for keep, switch, flip. So the steps of dividing fractions. So that just means we keep our first fraction, keep it as is. Then we switch the division to multiplication. So multiplication is the opposite of division. And since we switch that to multiplication, we need to flip the second fraction here. So the six is going to be the numerator and the five is going to be the denominator. Now we're able to multiply straight across, but before doing so, you can always check to see if you can use cancellation. And cancellation, you can think of it as just simplifying the problem before you multiply straight across. So let's see if we have any common factors between the numerators and denominators. And we do. Two and six have a greatest common factor of two. So we can divide each by two here. Two divided by two is one. Six divided by two is three. So again, that cancellation helps simplify the problem before we multiply straight across. It gives us easier numbers to work with. Now the 11 and five, they um, only have a common factor of one, so we can't use cancellation there. So let's multiply straight across now. 11 times three is 33, and one times five is five. So we get to 33 over five. Now that is our final answer, but we always want to change an improper fraction back to a mixed number as far as our answer goes. And then we can look to simplify the fractional part of that answer. So we do this by taking our numerator 33 and dividing it by five. So how many whole groups of five can we pull out of 33? Well, six, that gets us to 30. So that's our whole number portion. Now we do have a remainder of three, so that's going to be the numerator of our fraction, and we keep our denominator of five the same. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part. So three fifths actually is in simplest form already, so we are done. So six and three fifths. Now I do wanna show you if we did not use cancellation, what would happen? So let me rewrite the problem. There we go. So we would do 11 times six is 66, two times five is 10. Then we would convert to a mixed number. So how many whole groups of 10 out of 66? Well, six, that gets us to 60. So we have six left over, remainder of six, and we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So now our fractional part of that mixed number can be simplified. Six and 10 have a common factor of two, a greatest common factor of two, so divide each by two, and we end up with six and three fifths. So you can see that we got the same exact answer, we just had to simplify our answer. Now the cancellation method, we simplified our problem before we multiplied straight across. So you can get to the um, correct answer without using cancellation. It just comes in handy with some problems as far as simplifying things before multiplying straight across. All right, so on to number two, where we have two and four ninths divided by two thirds. So first thing, mixed number to improper fraction. So we'll start at the bottom, multiply and add. So nine times two, 18 plus four, 
22. Keep our denominator of 9 the same. Divided by our fraction of 2 thirds. So now we're ready to keep, switch, flip. So always keep the first fraction, switch, and then flip. So I'll draw arrows here. And now we're ready to um, multiply straight across. So we can look for any cancellation um, opportunities here as far as simplifying this problem before we multiply straight across, and we do. so. 22 and 2 have a greatest common factor of 2. So let's divide them both by 2. 22 divided by 2 is 11. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. 9 and 3 have a greatest common factor of 3. Let's divide them both by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So that cancellation there made that problem a lot more uh, manageable and the numbers easier to work with. So rather than doing 22 times 3, we can do 11 times 1, which is 11. So it's giving us smaller numbers and value to work with, therefore a little easier to work with. And then 3 times 1 is 3. So we get 11 over 3, which can be simplified. So we need to see how many whole groups of 3 can we pull out of 11. Well, 3 times 3 gets us to 9, so 3 whole groups, and we have a remainder of 2, and we keep our um, denominator of 3 the same. So 3 and 2 thirds as our final answer for number 2. So there you have it. There's how you divide mixed numbers by fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.